Let's talk about it. And what we're going to be talking about today is why you aren't seeing gains in the gym. And there's several reasons why that could be happening. In this video, I'm also going to be talking about the mentality you should be having when you step in that gym or when you go outside running. I'm also going to be talking about discipline and discipline is super important in life in general. What I did to discipline myself when it came to my workout routine is I started taking a dietary log of everything that I was eating. I counted all my macros out and if you're wondering what macros are, macros are these things right here. Fats, protein, and carbohydrates. I counted out all my calories as well and I do that every single day. The reason why I do this is because how am I supposed to gain weight if I don't know how many calories I'm intaking or how many carbs I'm eating or how much protein I'm intaking. That's important. And if you're trying to lose weight, how are you supposed to lose weight if you don't keep track of those same things? The next thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about is the mentality. The mentality is super, super important. Um. I think a big reason why a lot of us don't hit the gym is because we're scared of being judged or la looked upon badly because we don't look as good as somebody else. Well, we need to throw that right out the window. That's where a lot of people, I feel like, go wrong in the mentality. It's not that. It's not that. You know, those people who got really big, or those people who went from 300 to 180 pounds, they had the mentality, okay, I'm so-and-so. I need to go and work on this. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing because I'm working on myself. And if you're worried about anybody else in the gym, you aren't ever going to make progress. You're always going to hold yourself up to a higher standard to the point where you'll stop. Because you'll feel like you'll never get there looking at somebody else. So you got to go and take a look at yourself. And I know what y'all are thinking. Well, aren't we supposed to hold ourselves up to a higher standard? Yes, you absolutely are, but your standard. If I were to go off, for example, Chris Bumstead's routine on his nutrition, on his lifting, everything, my likelihood of obtaining that physique that I want is going to be slim because his routine is going to be far different than mine. His calories that he's intaking is going to be far different than mine. His weight that he's pushing in the gym is going to be far different than mine. So, follow your routine. Let's talk about the routine you should be having when you go to the gym. But before that, let's go talk about how the muscle grows. So over time, when you're training, your muscles adapt, your body adapts. So in order to keep on seeing gains and prevent plateauing, you need to keep changing your routine, right? Me personally, I would say I need to go and change my weights about every month and a half. Um, minimum about a month. But that's just me. So you got to find a baseline and go off from there, right? Let's talk about sets and reps. In my YouTube shorts, I talk about set protocol, rep protocol, and what those deal with is what you're trying to train for. If it's muscular endurance, if it's hypertrophy, strength or power, you're going to need a different type of regimen. So y'all can go check that out in my shorts. The muscle responds to different stimuli. So over time, your muscles adapt to the weight load. So you need to change that up. Same with your nutrition. Just like your body adapts, your nutrition's also got to adapt. So beginning training you may have started taking out in taking 2,000 calories and you got up to 150 pounds and you started at 125 the chances of you going and needing to up your calories are high same with the carbohydrates because as the body gets bigger the food that you put in and the portions you got to eat need to go up as well so remember that and same with weight loss when you start losing weight, you'll plateau eventually. So you'll need to go ahead and adjust your diet for such. If you lost 50 pounds right in the last year and you plateaued and you were in taking 22, 2300 calories, well, let's try it in taking 2000 calories. That's what I mean by that. So the intensity that you go at the gym and how you eat to either maintain, lose or gain 
has got to change as well. And if you've never stepped in a gym before, we all need to find a baseline. So what I suggest you do, find the muscle group that you're going to be working. Stick to one muscle group. So if you're working arms, stick to biceps and triceps. Do three different exercises, eight to 12 reps, three to five sets. And then the next day, work a different muscle group, three to five sets, eight to 12 reps. Rinse and repeat. The weekends you should be resting. So I hope everyone liked my video. I hope everyone gets out there, stays healthy, hits the gym, and looks out for the number one, their health. Much love. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe.